Hey, Uncle Laurie here, back with another shave. I didn't quite get to do a uh, shave on Christmas Day. I didn't have enough beard to really shave, so I'm doing it today, which is Boxing Day here in Australia. Boxing Day, the 26th of December. So what are we gonna use? Well, I'm using an oldie, but goodie. Mitchell's wool fat. This one, it reminds me of my father. He never used Mitchell Wool's fat, he was using uh, Old Spice. But the idea of it reminds me of him. So I've just got the puck and I store it in a porcelain jar with a, a nice uh, bamboo lid. And I just put a label on the top, Mitchell's Wool fat. And as you can see, I got the puck inside. Now, I was originally going to use these porcelain marks to um, load my brushing, but these days I slice a piece off and squash it in my bowl. Like that. And I just dribble a little bit of water over the top to um, pre soak it, and bloom it, as people say. And um, the brush we're going to use with that. Just shake the water out of it because I had it soaking for 10 minutes or so. Use my Samoke, what is it? The 1305 premium uh, 22mm wall brush, 52mm loft. I'll just put that back in the soak. And my Uncle Laurie Shave Super Soaker. And we're still going with the this week's razor, the Yaki Tile, with this week's blade, which is the Gillette Silver Blue, on its fourth use. All right, we'll go over now to um, produce the lava. Okay, we're all ready to go here. As you can see, I've got a, about a gram of uh, Mitchell's wool fat in the seat in the bottom there, or squashed in the bottom. Let's get my brush and squeeze it out and give it a shake. So just a, a moist brush. Now we'll just start. Now I had a bit of water over the top of that. So just a grand, uh, millimetre mill of water I put over the top. One or two mil is good to, to bloom it. You probably don't really need to bloom the, the soap, but uh, I like to do it. See, I'm having no trouble whipping up a leather. We'll keep rolling the brush over that piece of soap. And gathering up the leather in the brush. We'll start adding water now. That's about a teaspoon of water to give it a good start. Look at that lovely stuff. Still very peaky at the moment, so I'll add a bit more water. We'll give it another teaspoon. There's still a little bit of soap left there. In the centre of the bowl, but it should gather up, I think, by the time we're finished.
starting to get a nice looking leather now. Mitchell Wool's fat can take quite a bit of water. So give it another teaspoon. So we're up to 15 mil. Very nice. And you can see pigs hasn't flopped down yet, so I'll give it another teaspoon. That's probably gonna be enough. So that's lovely. Look at that. Beautiful. You could even do a little... No, no, that's right. A nice flop there on the lever. Yep. Wonderful. There we go. Lovely Mitchell Wolf's Fat Lover. Could even do a bit more water. We'll, we'll add a bit to the, um, the face as we go. Okay, back from building that lovely Mitchell wool, wool fat leather. Now I've already put the pre-shave on. Now I've got a bit of Mitchell wool fat leather on my fingers as well. Still using the Lucky Tiger liquid sh uh, shave cream. Probably like I said last time, maybe another month's worth left. I'll just re-moisten my face. Uh, still got that zit or whatever it is there so we'll try and avoid knocking it off head off again give it a chance to heal properly okay that's good Mitch's full fat has just got a pleasant, soapy, powdery scent to me. You could easily add a bit of scent to it. So this smoke is partially broken in. Yeah, it looks nice. bit of alum on my fingers because I've been playing around with that soap it's really slippery uh, first pass with the grain or north to south however you want to talk about it now where's this zit Shave over that. I expect in a couple of days it'll be cleared up. Wow. 
like I said, this uh, machine, a stainless steel tile, does have a tendency to drag a little bit. Because it's only got a machine finish, it's not a polished finish. But if I, I was shaving with it all the time, I get used to it. Like I've shaved with it this week and today, I'm not noticing it as much. Or not annoying me as much. As it did on the first shave. No, uh, you probably just get used to it and not worry about it at all. Oh, lovely slickness. Oldy but good here, so be going around since for oh, 100 plus years. Be making this soap. And if this was the only soap you had, you'd be fine. Now, in my collection, this is not the only soap I have. <laughs> I'm a hobbyist. I don't just shave. So I collect. Soaps, razors, brushes, splashes. I feel like it could do a bit more water, so I'll just dip the tips in the water. It's a nice ball brush. Thirteen oh five. Um, it's a pretty good value. Uh, from memory, is about twenty thirty dollars Australian. They're not very expensive. It's got a wooden handle, painted wooden handle. And this one does. the grain. Right, it's Boxing Day here in Australia, 26th of December. Where does the name Boxing Day come from? Well, apparently, um, originally it was for a day to give the day after Christmas, so the second day of Christmas on the uh, Catholic candle, the calendar, I think it is. And it was originally a day for giving gifts to poor people. I think it uh, back in the Middle Ages is where it started. And today, Boxing Day is primarily known as a discount shopping day. Here in Australia and throughout the Commonwealth. So it originated in England. The concept of a shopping day. Trying to avoid that zit. No, it won't be a perfect shave. I'm, I'm trying to get around that little spot. So in Australia today, Myers and 
All the big department stores will be open, offering big discounts on items they want to get rid of, <laughs> probably. Oh, extremely good sleepers. I just feel the smoothness of the lather on my skin. It just feels lovely. And a pleasant, like I said, soapy, powdery scent. Final pass with the grain or south to north. I've been really enjoying this uh, tile this week. It's on the mild side of medium for me. More of a mild razor, but it's quite efficient. It's, uh, I go, there's a small amount of blade feel, at least I get a small amount of blade feel. Again, avoiding that. Bump. Yeah, just just lovely. I do that because, you, as you can see, I don't keep any sideburns. I'm too old for that, and not much hair left. Silence is golden. Now you may have noticed at the start of the video, there's a, on the picture, in my intro, there's a bush in the background. It's called a bottle brush. It's got lovely uh, long flowers, about this long. Red, red and yellow flowers. And I call it the Australian Christmas tree because at Christmas time it, it's normally in full bloom and 
it's got its own decorations built in. <laughs> All you gotta do is put the put your presents underneath it. And it's a live tree. I've got one of my that picture that actually comes from my garden. I've got one just outside my front door. It's a lovely bush. I plan to actually put a few more in. So we'll just do some touch-ups, just a little bit along the jawline. Now in between passes I've been putting my fingers on the helm because this is there's no knurling on this handle. And my fingers don't have the best of grip at the best of times. They're pretty smooth. I think we did a good job of avoiding that zit. So hopefully that'll heal over the next few days. Yeah, very happy with that. I don't think we caused any damage today. Don't see any. Also been treating these spots over the other side, but then they didn't raise up and be noticed. So they should heal up by the time I get to the next shave. All right, I'll just rinse off. Oh, it feels good. Just a quick rinse, like I said. My procedure is have a shower after my shave. You can do it either way. I think 80% um, of shavers perform their um, shower before they shave. Well, it's a really a choice up to them. Uh, what are we going to do? Alan? Yeah, maybe a 2 out of 10 around the neck area. 1, 1, one and a half. 1 on the lip. Oh, a bit of a high tingle here, maybe a 2 out of 10 pain. Level just tingles, just that's normal for me in a shave. Uh, this didn't hurt at all today, so I didn't nick that, which is good. All right, and we've got heaps of leather left from that one gram of soap. I've got probably enough for another shave, nearly. So we'll put that on my face and go and have my shower, and we'll come back for the post shave. From the shower, lovely. Oh, that's smooth. I enjoyed that, and no blood coming from there, which is good. A lot of little couple of bumps here, no blood, so we've done well. So we'll start off with a bit of witch hazel, menthol crystals, and tea tree oil. I put the tea tree oil on there; it's a good antiseptic. It's nice. 
it on the head. And the body. Oh, that menthol's getting up in the eyes here. And we're going to shoot it again with a bit more menthol, although this is a lighter one. Lucky Tiger Vanishing Cream. Which has eucalyptus and menthol in it. But not a strong menthol like I'll put in that which hazel. So that calms things down a bit. Again, I'll put it on the top of the head. That's a lovely shave. And the final ingredient, a bit of the old spice. Just in memory of Dad uh, at Christmas time, he would have splashed a bit of this on. Day. Well, Merry Christmas everyone and hope you do some uh, great shopping today if you're out and about doing your sh doing some uh, picking up some specials. Alright, we'll um, catch you on my next show. I should be back on schedule again and uh, do a Wednesday shave and a Sunday shave. So, we'll see you then.